Sie alle kennen Xing. Was in Deutschland Xing ist, ist in den USA LinkedIn. Neben mir steht der Herr, der 2003 dieses Business-Netzwerk gegründet hat. Reed Hoffmann ist sein Name und wir werden ihm ein paar Fragen stellen. Da der Herr ein bisschen Deutsch kann, fangen wir mit einer deutschen Frage an. Wie hat es Ihnen denn bislang gefallen in Deutschland oder München? Ich kann nur ein bisschen Deutsch. It's, uh, uh, I'm going to speak in English. Uh, I, uh, um, I studied German uh, for three and a half months uh, in 1986. So that was 21 years ago in Vienna. So a tiny amount of comprehension and very poor speaking ability. But um, uh, so I've been to Vienna and Germany before. I, um, this is the first time at DLD. Uh, the conference looks very nice. Um, my wife is actually here with me, but instead of going to the conference, I told her to see the things that she should see, like the Deutsches Museum and the other other things that are very important locally. Some area. German shop. Yes. Well, more the history, the culture. It's the kind of thing that, uh, I mean, the U.S. is, you know, a little over 200 years old as a, as a country. You get a much deeper sense of history when you come to Europe, Germany, etc. And so, you know, all the, you know, make sure you go to the cathedrals, you know, that sort of thing. That's, that's, that, that's what she's off doing. And I get to be here at a, a technology conference. <laughs> and um, how did you get the idea uh, to, to found a business network in the internet? So um, the philosophy behind LinkedIn is that in fact in the whole world every individual professional is now becoming their own small business. It's almost like we're all becoming our own entrepreneurs. And when you look at what are the functions that people need in order to navigate their professional career, we're all becoming connected to a variety of people who help us and we help them and that's how you essentially manage a career. And so it's, it's that idea that I founded LinkedIn with because the idea was that each of us will need a set of functions and a set of um, uh, ways to easily help each other in order to accomplish professional tasks. Like for example, um, you know, journalists finding sources or experts to cross check uh, stories with. Um, you know, LinkedIn is used by uh, hedge funds who look for experts. Um, it's obviously used for jobs, both job seeking and, hi and hiring, but it's also used for like business development, uh, making a deal with a company, you know, those kinds of things. And most recently, sorry, <laughs> talking a little long. Um, uh, most recently, uh, we've actually been uh, expanding on the functions to uh, essentially share and collaborate news professionally, both within people that you share a company with, uh, also share a network with, and uh, are people who are of like professional type with you so that you can stay current on the news and information that you most need in order to stay current as a professional. So let's speak now about your new initiatives. Well, so um, I was already uh, <laughs> left, I was too excited. I left into that a little bit already. Um, so we uh, re-released a news product um, in 2007 in November. Um, we're currently only about halfway through it, but basically it's a way that um, you can uh, share and comment on news with your network, um, whether it's the people you personally know or your company, and the kind of thing that you can do with the network, <laughs> too late, <laughs> um, the kind of thing that you can do with your network um, includes um, uh, you know, an ability to say, well, these are the important stories, and these stories are the ones that everyone in my company should read, and then comment on them, so that you stay uh, current with the kinds of information that will help you uh, be most effective week by week. Um, we're also going to be uh, launching international versions, um, and we have a whole a set of initiatives to work with business publishers. Thank you. Thank you.